broadcasting from Studio 202 at the Springett Technology Center in Navasota, Texas. It's NOV Live. Now, here's your host, Michael Gaines. Hello and welcome to NOV Live. I'm Michael Gaines. Thank you for joining us here as we continue our ongoing conversation, bringing you technologies and technical experts from around the world who are helping shape the energy industry. So today's conversation is uh, should be a, a really great one. Uh, actually, we're going to continue uh, the conversation that we had uh, from Insight Out earlier today, uh, but going to be talking with uh, a pair of additional experts about the recently announced collaboration between uh, NOV and Schlumberger uh, regarding the Novos system and the drill ops platform as well. So we have two guests here today who will lend their expertise and insight and answer your questions uh, as we dive into our conversation today. So before we get to our guests, we want to go to someone who is not a guest, is a, a regular here. So Shelby Devane, uh, our, our uh, digital uh, mm -hmm. digital extraordinaire, <laughs> as I like to say. So uh, social media specialist. Hey, Shelby, how you doing? I'm doing good. You know, I might change that LinkedIn. Just yeah, extraordinaire. yeah, extraordinaire. I like, I like that. Yeah, like that's that. the thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, well, for everyone watching, if you want to get involved in today's show, the easiest way to do so is by commenting. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, it doesn't matter. I'm here. I got my screens up and I can see all of your comments, uh, where you're tuning in from. Go ahead and let us know if you have any questions for either of our experts or Michael throughout the show, you can comment those. And at the end, we're going to do a live Q&A. So we're going to get as many of your questions answered as we possibly can uh, that time will allow for. And so I really I'm always um, impressed, even though I know y'all are excellent, I, I'm still always impressed by the great questions we get every week. So I look forward, look forward to seeing those. And I do want to mention that we have um, all past episodes of both NOV Live and our other show, Inside Out, available uh, to watch back if you want to go back and see any of those at NOV.com slash live. So you can go check those out. And if you have questions on those past episodes, you know, we still want to get those questions answered. We still want to connect you with our experts. So you can send us an email at social media at NOV.com, which will be on the screen now. Uh, so you can send us an email there if you have any questions on past episodes. But like I mentioned, if you have a question about today's episode, just go ahead and leave us a comment uh, while we're airing right now, and we're going to get to as many as we can. So those are all the different ways that you can ask us your questions. But now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show. It's time where I ask you my question. It's time for Rig Geek Post of the Week. Rig Geeks Post of the Week. All right. And so this, this week's Rig Geek Post of the Week question, we're going to have it up on screen. Uh, but a little spoiler, uh, we are talking, Eric Michael kind of mentioned it, we're talking about uh, both Novos um, as well as Drill Ops. But this question's going to be about Novos. So if you're a, a Novos Rig Geek out there, we're asking how many automated connections have we drilled with Novos since 2016? So the lifetime um, of Novos being here. So how many automated connections have we drilled with Novos since 2000, 2016? If you think you know the answer, go ahead and comment it now. And at the end of the show, we're going to reveal it. So stick around to, to find out if you got it right. All right. Great. Well, thanks, Shelby. Mm -hmm. So as yeah, as we mentioned, as the subject of this show on uh, our social media platforms, and as you see, uh, we talked about today, we're talking about the recently announced collaboration between NOV and Schlumberger uh, regarding the Novos and Drill Ops uh, platforms, respectively. So to talk about that and give us some insight uh, in studio with me, I have uh, Ben Facker, who's the Director of Automation and Digital Products with NOV. So Ben, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And we have uh, Benoit Foubert, who is the VP of Technology Digital Operations Solutions with Schlumberger. So uh, Benoit, thank you for joining us. Pardon me. All right. So uh, we will we'll actually start with you, Benoit. So I, I know that some are, are certainly familiar 
with uh, drill ops, uh, but but we, we have the opportunity to to help introduce this platform for those that may not be familiar. Uh, so if you would mind, help us understand what what is drill ops and and how does the system work? Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks for the question. So let let me step back a little bit, maybe outside of drill ops. Uh, so, uh, so DrillOps is our execution platform that is part of our uh, overall well construction digital system, which uh, also encompasses drill plan. So, really, DrillOps is, is a better part of drill plan where we engineer and plan and plan our operation. And and DrillOps is really our digital well construction solution to to to, uh, to really bring a step change to the industry in terms of safety, uh, efficiency, performance, uh, sustainability. So DrillOps is a line of digital solution uh, that, that can uh, that can be uh, available on the rig or, or in the cloud. Uh, and I think for today's discussion, I would like to uh, to maybe zoom a little bit on uh, on the automate part of, of DrillOps. So so what is at the heart of of DrillOps Automate? It's really a, an artificial intelligence engine that uh, that encompasses all the all the knowledge or the technical knowledge that Schlumberger has in terms of well construction process, in terms of uh, um, rate of penetration optimization, uh, interaction between uh, the BHA and the subsurface, really ensuring that at any time, uh, the best uh, decision is taken and we really drive performance in well construction processes. So really a, a, a smart, uh, AI-based uh, decision-making system that will always ensure the right decision is taken autonomously and get uh, get executed at uh, at the well site. Yeah. Okay. And so the the other part of the 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 collab, uh, of course, was the the Novos uh, system. So so Ben, again, for for those that may not be familiar, can you give us the the high-level rundown on on Novos? Sure. Um... NOV took on uh, drilling automation uh, as early on. We started talking about Novos in like 2012. Uh, so it's been a long process for us to get through to where we are today and, and what we're doing. But Novos' core is really trying to take uh, the existing controls that are at the rig and move it towards uh, less of a, a human coordinating all the movements of all the tools, understanding downhole functionality, and, and managing the process to more of a, a system that you can configure to do the process. Mm -hmm. uh, and now instead of you know joysticks and push buttons and having a, a guy reach and do a bunch of different things on different screens, now he, he hits a, bit, a button that says drill mm -hmm. and, and Novos carries out those actions. Okay, so, so I wanna hear from, from both of you as, as you look at the opportunity to uh, collaborate, uh, bringing together these two uh, these two spaces. What what does what does this look like uh, if if we're looking at a a rig that is able to utilize both both technologies? And uh, I'll, I'll start with you you Ben, sure. and uh, and we can go to Benoit. So uh, we've been working on Novos uh, in the field for quite a while. We have a, a large install base, uh, seventy plus rigs that are enabled with Novos. And with that, we've created a, a generic interface for integration, uh, basically allowing um, service companies, other third parties to, to reach in and control the system uh, through the process level uh, with, without having to re-engineer for each rig they go to. Uh, so what this gives us and what a collaboration means is the, the process level from the Novo side being able to manage the tools, ensure safety and, and consistency uh, from the system and the equipment, but also um, bringing it up to a level where uh, Benoit's technology can then tell it what to do in the most optimal way. And so, how do you, yeah, how do you see that, uh, Benoit, as you're looking at uh, the collaboration, looking at the from the uh, drill up side, but obviously the the combined uh, combined approach as well. It's difficult to go after Ben. He said it all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, re really, I, I think the, the, the point that I want to pass across is Novos uh, 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 that grew in, in NOV from a company that is extremely strong on the equipment side and, and rig side and, and what Schumberger brings on the understanding of subsurface and well construction process makes that, I mean, Novos 
and, and drill offs are really complementary technology and, and uh, our customer will get uh, one plus one equals three uh, in, in, in that respect. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we, well, actually, before I get to my next question for you, Benoit, I did want to talk to our viewers real quick. If you have a question for Benoit or Ben uh, that you'd like to uh, potentially have answered on the show here, feel free to put that in the comments section, whether you're watching us on LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube, and we will try to get to as many of those questions as we can during our program. Again, our topic today, we are talking about the collaboration between NOV and Schlumberger with the Novos and DrillOps platforms uh, that was re recently announced uh, in a press release with Schlumberger and a news article uh, with NOV as well. So feel free to put your questions in and we will try to get to those in just a few moments. So Benoit, I want to turn back to you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, any of the efforts that uh, that NOV is taking or Schlumberger is taking, it ultimately needs to provide value for for customers and needs to uh, be able to to benefit those uh, businesses. So, can you talk a little bit about uh, what what that means for for customers and 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 what they're looking to uh, to hopefully derive out of out of this collaboration? So, so really, I, I can highlight a couple of uh, I can highlight a couple of points here. So, so for a customer uh, uh, that is using a, a, a rig, and whether it's a, a rig contractor and operator, uh, will benefit from a rig that will have Novos and Relops uh, installed in tandem on the rig, and and really the the result that we see. Uh, uh, for the relapse specifically in terms of rate of penetration performance uh, uh, non-productive night reduction are quite are quite significant so we will really bring to the market here uh, a product or a joint product uh, that will really bring a lot of value for our customers yeah and and it's it's also uh, bringing to to our customers a, a very open system in that uh, in, in that sense, where they can they can benefit from from an NOV technology and from the tech technology at the same time. So really, uh, really a, a lot of value that we will bring to them to optimize their well construction performance, minimize their downtime, increase uh, increase their, their su the sustainability of their operation. So really. Uh, a large, a large improvement for all our customers. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, I think we can we can do a lot of great things together, uh, and I think we will. But the the agreement itself uh, really allows us to expedite some of the things that we would be doing if somebody came to us and said, "Hey, we want an install at this place at mm -hmm. this time." And we would say, okay, well, let's hold up. Let's talk between our two groups. Let's get through all of the, the courtship we have to do to figure out who's doing what, who's bringing what, mm -hmm. who's supporting what. Uh, also, from a, from a commercial standpoint, from a technical standpoint, to an operations standpoint, we, we've gone through and, and had those discussions now between our two, two groups. Mm -hmm. And with, with two, gr two companies, big companies, it's often like hard to get them off top dead center to, to move on something. So this is a, a way of us saying, hey, we're here, we, we're coordinated between each other, we're ready to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I know uh, in our, our previous conversation today, uh, both uh, Rajiv and David uh, uh, talked about the idea that, you know, when you're looking at the digital space, I mean, that that's where where you need to be, right? That, and that's where customers are headed as well, and so having the capabilities of both uh, both platforms seem to be able to provide that level of uh, capability that that can help move the needle ahead in terms of everything we've talked about: the safety, efficiency, the reduced downtime, the optimization. So that's that's really good. Um, so so I want to maybe kind of round out. I know that that we've hit a lot of high points, but certainly want to make sure that we've driven home the uh, the key items that, that uh, we're wanting folks to be able to take away. So, so uh, Benoit, anything else that, that maybe we, we should share with, with our viewers or, or those that are watching uh, about this collaboration and, and what, um, what we can be looking for uh, as we move ahead? So maybe not, nothing more than what I just said, but re-emphasizing uh, re the point 
is, is really between Relapse and Novos. We, we have done a lot of great work between both teams in the past months to put this uh, uh, agreement in place, as, as Ben mentioned. So we are really ready now to uh, to deploy this solution for our customers. And, and a, a lot of the hurdles have been uh, are behind us. So uh, really exciting time uh, ahead of us. Great. Yeah. Uh, and from my side, uh, I think it, it's been, uh, of course, I've I've been in the automation world and in rigs for quite a while now. And, and it's one of those, this is one of those times it's like, it's going to happen eventually. We're going to do this eventually. We're going to start mm -hmm. moving in this direction. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to start collaborating. And it's just great to see that we're, we're finally here doing the things that we had hoped we would do when we, you know, visualized Novos and we started thinking right. about through things. So right. uh, I'm really excited about what we, what we will do, what we can do. Um, but I think what we've done here is really lay a model for how we can deploy kind of scalable drilling automation into the industry. Uh, I'm mm. excited about it. Yeah, no, I think that is excellent. Well, we are going to now pivot over to Shelby to get some of the feedback and uh, insight from those that uh, are watching us online. Uh, oh, so there we are. Thank you, Michael. Uh, so this first question we got comes from LinkedIn. And um, Ali was wondering, so there's a lot of startups kind of in this space of automation. So what does a collaboration between, you know, NOV and Schlumberger, what does that bring to the table um, in, in this space? As far as startups and, I think, and how uh, we would engage with them or what? Yeah, I think, or compared to a lot of the smaller, the startups, what does this being NOV and, and Schlumberger collaborating bring to the table? I, I think from my point of view, um, being a startup in the space is, is difficult. You've got, you've got a lot of overhead to manage and it, getting onto a rig is difficult uh, to get the credibility and the, the people behind you to actually get to a deployment. Um, you know, I think both of us are working with a bunch of different parties in, in collaborations and, uh, I would say there's still open space, but but this does give us an avenue to to really do some some big things with some some big players and big companies with with big ideas. So it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe to add to that uh, a little bit as well. You know, the, the digital world is is, is a fast-moving world. So uh, so building partnership, having a vibrant ecosystem of uh, of smaller companies. Uh, that are willing to work with us as well is is is, is, is always great to have. But uh, but I think I will echo uh, some of Ben's comments. It's uh, deploying an automation system on a rig is not something simple. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And and this next question, we actually this one came uh, to us during Inside Out this morning, and and we saved it for this call. We thought it would it'd be a really great question to ask here as well. And um, so it comes from Eunice, and that, again, this was from Inside Out on LinkedIn. And he asked how the service companies uh, could intervene or be part of all of these systems, like DST, wireline, coiled tubing. Uh, what do you think about uh, that? I'll pass that to you, Benoit. You're the. Yes, I can. I can share. So I can. I, I'm going to take a technology angle here. Uh, so you know the, the, the technology that we have developed for uh, uh, for drilling automation uh, uh, as part of our DrillOps platform is, is now getting uh, getting tested by uh, Schlumberger Wireline Operation to uh, I mean to, to, to achieve uh, to achieve the, sa the same goal huh? to to automate the wireline process we, we've made this uh, sim simplicity that for wireline automation, I mean, Schlumberger owns the end-to-end -end spectrum. There is, there, there is only one single party, I would say, to automate the process. But long, long story short, I think the, the, the technology that we are talking about here is, is directly applicable to some other part of, uh, of, of our industry. I think it, it will always be a, a cost versus benefit uh, decision at the end. Huh? It, it, it's, it's fair that we will probably never automate 100% of everything happening in the oil and gas, but uh, but there are some parts where there is tremendous benefit to performance uh, uh, safety, and, and wireline automation is, is one that uh, that we are currently uh, uh, field testing. I think from, from my perspective, looking at the, the different, um, let's say, levels in the chain for, for completions, for fracking, for wireline, 
Uh, we're looking at all those things, but I think they're a, a stage or two behind where mm -hmm. we are with drilling. Um, the, the systems are a bit more rudimentary. There's less uh, digital components on them for sensors and other things that you would need to be able to, to do automation. Mm -hmm. So I think they still have a, a little bit of ways to go to, to mature those systems. Uh, we're, we're working on things right now, but it's, it's probably a few years ahead. Sure. Mm -hmm. So this next question comes from Curtis on LinkedIn, and he was asking, will this collaboration be cost effective for the smaller drilling contractors? So uh, one of the concerns that we had uh, in our conversations was trying to make this cost effective. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way that we went about it was to make sure that we, we didn't, and part of that collaboration up front was to make sure that neither party made it so, uh, let's say, uncost effective mm -hmm. for, for anybody to get into it, that we, we could serve uh, the broader market. Mm -hmm. So that was a consideration and something we looked into. And I, and I think at this point, we do have an offering that, that would be enticing. Yeah. No, my, my, answer would, my answer would be simply yes. And that, that's something that was deeply considered in the agreement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, and we'll wrap it up, I think, for time with this last question that comes from Ali on LinkedIn. And, um, you know, I think with any uh, new new collaboration or kind of something that's coming up, you always get good information. So he's asking, will we be sharing any findings or where can, where can maybe he learn more um, kind of in the future? Where can we expect to, to see more? Go ahead, Benoit. So, so, so yes, yeah, there, there, I mean, there, there are marketing documentation and, uh, and and more information that is being uh, that is being worked on, uh, that will be uh, that will be published. Uh, so, so stay tuned. It's going to be available on on both of our uh, uh, website, I would say, and uh, and depending on, uh, I mean, the customers that we uh, that we are going to partner with, uh, I, I am sure there will be some some papers that will be published. Uh, rather soon right yeah i i see us jointly publishing quite a few things in the future right uh, based on based on what we're doing and how we're doing it yeah. right yeah no mm -hmm. what what is it stay stay tuned watch the space so uh yeah. no looking looking forward to that well great well thank you uh for the uh feedback so i've been speaking with ben facker director of automation and digital products here at nov and benoit Foubert who is the VP of Technology Digital Operations Solutions with Schlumberger. And uh, we've been speaking about the uh, Novos and Drill Ops collaboration. So appreciate the feedback. And we are now going to get the uh, answer to our Rig Geek post of the week. So mm -hmm. I know, Shelby, we were uh, trying to get, get people some, some really, a really good one. Mm -hmm. We were. And um, and I do I, not not to not to tease giving the answer. I do actually want to plug um, two sites for our audience. You know, as the social media person, I, I love to yeah. plug a, a link when I can. Um, so speaking of learning more, if you want to learn more about either Novos or Drill Ops, you can actually find Novos. We'll have it up on screen at nov.com/novos. And uh, for Drill Ops, you can check out slb.com/drill ops. So we have those on Great. screen, but I just wanted to give give both uh, little shout outs there before I do the Rig Geek. Sure, yeah, always always on time. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. it. Um, yeah, so for the Rig Geek, so I asked a really fun question. We got some good guesses out there. We'll we'll bring that question up one more time. Um, so you can, if you think you know it, I always try to stall a little bit for our Rig Geeks, <laughs> give them one more chance. Uh, we asked, how many automated connections have we drilled with Novos since 2016? And uh, the answer we have here, we have drilled 123,000 automated connections since 2016. And so, there it is. Yep, absolutely. Cool. So thank you to our Rig Geeks for, for playing and for, for sending in your guesses. So, and I look forward to doing that every week. And All back right. to you, Michael. Well, thanks, Shelby. And again, thanks to our, our guests, ben, ben and Benoit, who uh, helped uh, give us some insight on the collaboration between Schlumberger and NOV. And of course, want to thank you for joining us on NOV Live. If you'd like to catch any of our other conversations, feel free to head over to nov.com forward slash live, where you can find all of the conversations from Insight Out and NOV Live. 
So thanks for joining us. Our production team was Kamal Carr and Weihan Lin. Our social media specialist is Shelby Demain. I am Michael Gaines and appreciate you joining us. From all of us here at NLV, thanks for watching and for listening, and we'll talk to you again next time.